Synchronization, the intangible force coordinating critical infrastructure all over the world. Taken for granted and only noticed when it fails. We've all seen those heist movies that started out with, gentlemen, synchronize your watches. But well, we don't have to do that anymore. Today, our phones and computers, and it doesn't matter where you are, whether you're in Germany, Los Angeles, New York, are synchronized down to the millisecond thanks to network synchronization technology. GPS is a technology we use every day. A GPS determines our location by computing the time difference of arrival from multiple satellites. Since the 1980s, people had been using a network time protocol to move timing through networks precisely. And that was accurate to about one millisecond, a thousandth of a second. Its purpose is to allow computer systems to exchange time. NTP, as it is called in short, is based on a so-called client-server architecture. That means there is a server, typically the device that knows what time it is, and there is one or more clients. Those clients send a request to the NTP server asking for the time, and they will receive a response that carries exactly that. If the server says it's 12 o'clock and it would have taken five minutes for the response to receive the client, it's actually 12 o'clock and five minutes when the client receives the message. And this delay compensation is very important. Now today, nearly every server, computer, router, they all are getting time from the network time protocol. However, there's a lot of industries that wanted a millionth of a second accuracy, and the network time protocol couldn't produce that. And so I got involved in the development of the precision time protocol to deliver this higher level of accuracy. And so every industry, as they adopt Ethernet as their standard network, they adopt the network time protocol and the precision time protocol. So the question why PTP synchronization is important, the whole broadcasting industry is going through a transformation process in regards to the technology that is used to produce TV content. And one of the benefits, for example, is that you can have a production crew split in several locations. For example, at a sporting event, you have the camera operators located directly at the stadium and you have the rest of the production crew in a completely different city so that everything works perfectly together. All the components have to be synchronized. In the financial world, synchronization plays a very important role. From the time a computer system, for example, decided to sell shares, there are a lot of intermediate steps that need to be very well documented in order to allow the regulatory body in each country to ensure that this has been carried out on a fair and level playing field. That means a lot of synchronization is required to make sure that all the steps are timestamped with a very high precision. Hundreds of millions of people in the US rely on network time synchronization to keep the power grid operating. Whether your power source is hydroelectric, coal, gas, nuclear, or solar, precise synchronization is essential to the proper operation of today's power grid. When power flows change. There can be overloads of equipment, breakers can trip, and there can be outages. Time synchronization protects this critical infrastructure against changes in demand that can damage the equipment. This world is moving faster and faster every day. We are sending more data over our smartphones or over the internet, and we try to understand this world in a much better way by making measurements more precise. Meinberg has been founded in 1979 by the two Meinberg brothers, Günther and Werner. They started initially by inventing a remote control solution for people who built model airplanes and fly them in their spare time. They came up with the idea of using a radio clock to synchronize electronic devices, computers and machinery. The company focused on this technology ever since. For over 40 years, we are now working in synchronization and that is all the company does. 
In a network, there's two reasons why you might need precise time. One is if you're doing measurement at two places that are far away from each other, and those measurements have to be compared. Another reason is to coordinate signals so that they can work together without interfering. Quite a few industries are now investing heavily in the precision time protocol. Our broadcast, finance, telecommunications, industrial automation brought together a committee of people from academia, from industries, from all over the world on this committee to decide exactly how that would work. What are the messages look like? What information do they have? When are they sent? And this was all defined in exacting detail so that equipment made by one company would work with equipment made by another company because they obeyed the same standard. At Meinberg, we're excited about the future. When we hear of new needs from customers, we're able to quickly respond to that and deliver technology that they need. We're driven by customers. In the US, we've brought together a team with a diverse set of experiences, expertise in time synchronization, expertise in networking, expertise in operations, and with a variety of skill sets. We're excited to see what the future will bring for our customers and for Meinberg. Meinberg, solutions for time and frequency synchronization. To learn more about the full line of products and services, visit MeinbergGlobal.com.